he slimed me. That's great! Actual physical contact! Can you move? It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. Dan Aykroyd's high spirits were on full display in the classic 1984 comedy Ghostbusters. Preparation, perhaps, for the very different sort of spirits he's bringing to market now. Michelle Miller offers this Sunday profile. Dan Aykroyd was just 23 years old, the youngest of the Saturday Night Live original cast, when he became a superstar. Now I've done it. I've cut the dickens out of my finger. Well, I'm glad in a way this happened. You know, I've spent two Famous for his brilliant impersonations. Conehead. The name is Conehead. Please identify yourself. Bizarre creations. Yes, fish eaters, the days of troublesome scaling, cutting, and gutting are over. And pitch perfect comedic pitches. The tool that lets you use the whole bass with no fish waste without scaling, cutting, or gutting. More than 30 years later, he's pitching again. Not for laughs, but for his own crystal head vodka. This is an accurate glass rendering of a human skull. With a bottle that will catch your eye and a legend to go with it. Scientists estimate that it took between 300 and 500 years to carve one of these heads from a single piece of quartz. So, does it take you back to your super basomatic days? Sure, certainly, absolutely, of course. Uh, essentially, it was the same thing, that pitch, but a little slower, yeah. <laughs> the pitch continued, right, see, this time like with a perfect there, but... pairing. You're pretty liberal with the caviar there. You take sour cream or not? Definitely sour cream. Okay. Take a little sip, just, okay. and just kind of just in your mouth a little bit. Mm hmm. Let it go down. Very smooth. Mm hmm. Now eat the sandwich. I eat it whole? Yep. Just plop it right in? Well, I like to sell. I really do. Uh, I could sell used battery acid and make it fly, but that's not what we have here. You know, the, 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 the vodka is an award winning fluid. Uh, our notes are vanilla, sweet, dry, crisp, with a kick of heat off the finish. In fact, Aykroyd's Vodka was awarded a double gold medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition this year. The world's cleanest, non-polluted, non-adulterated, no additive vodka. So what better vessel to put it in than a vessel that speaks about purity and enlightenment and, and positive drinking. The legend of the Crystal Skull, says Aykroyd, is grounded in his family's fascination with the paranormal. Aykroyd's great-grandfather was a spiritualist, he says, and his father, a Canadian government official, wrote an entire book on ghosts. The family was into seances uh, right through the 1950s. Uh, they had seances there. We, we had a family medium. His name was Walter Ashurst. He was a locomotive mechanic. Uh, the American Society for Psychical Research Journals were all around the house when I was a kid. That fascination, says Aykroyd, gave birth to Ghostbusters, one of the top grossing comedies of all time. Get her! I wanted to treat the material that I was reading as a kid, and I also wanted to do a comedy, just like the old comedies that, uh, that, that Bob Hope did and, and, the, and Abbott and Costello. So I thought if we did that flavor of comedy, but use real terms, real vernacular, use the real theories of paranormal research, marry them up together, and there you, there you have it. <coughs> Sir, what you had there was what we refer to as a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm or a class 5 full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. Dan Aykroyd turned another of his passions, blues music, into another hit movie, The Blues Brothers. John Belushi, his best friend and co-star, died of a drug overdose in 1982, just two years after the movie's release. Can you believe it's been 30 years? I think of him often. I think of him every time I go into a house of blues, how much he would have loved to have his own nightclub, for instance, in Vegas or New Orleans or L.A., you know. Aykroyd founded House of Blues in part as a tribute to his dead friend. He, he would have loved it, yeah. And, uh, no, I miss, him. I miss him a lot. What do you miss most about him? Uh, his intelligence, how well read he was, uh, his expertise in theater and movies and plays, his impressions. Uh, he, he, I think had he lived, uh, he would be directing on Broadway right now. He'd be probably one of the leading directors in, in, in the American theater. Really? Oh, yeah. Does it still, I mean, it must still pain you to know. 
Well, uh, you know, I, I couldn't be there for them, you know, and uh, people, you know, have these addictions and, and it, it, it helps them to get through and, and his appetites were huge and uh, the fact it is that he was killed by mistake and so he died accidentally. He put himself in that situation and, and that's just a warning to people out there. Just, you know, stay away from powders and pills. Come on. You know, have a, have a nice shot of uh, legal vodka. That's, uh, that'll get you through. Ackroyd's home life is remarkably stable by Hollywood standards. He's been married to Donna Dixon for nearly 30 years, the actress and beauty queen he met while filming oh Dr. Detroit. Enjoy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> they have three daughters. How do you make it 30 years? Well, uh, it's, 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 it's communication, really. Uh, women really love for a man, for their mate, to, uh, to share. And uh, if you come home at night and she says, you know, hi, honey, what happened today? How did it go? What happened? Anything happened today? And you go, oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, no. no. What you want to say is, oh, well, I went down to the Shell station and, you know, they got a real nice special on gas and I got that jumbo coffee that they have. Oh, and then I went by the video place and, you know, those tapes you wanted? Well, uh, you know, they're now light on Blu-ray and we're going to get them. Give all the details. They love that. Ladies love to hear what's going on. They feel engaged. It's that simple. Well, <laughs> hygiene is, is important. That's yeah. one, of my, my okay. one of my failings, so I'm always being called on that. What is this? Okay, you're sitting at Jerry's Deli in uh, L.A. Yeah. To finish our interview, Ackroyd showed us how to make his favorite vodka drink, which he calls the Crystal Driver. Slowly infuse the orange juice as if you're breaking an egg in there. It should look like an egg yolk going in. It goes best, he says, a with a pastrami egg. sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The writer's L.A. lunch. I'm eating all the sandwiches here. <laughs> And for all of you who've been wondering, Ghostbusters 3 is in the works. I can't say too much about it. We really hope it gets made. And uh, we're, we're, we're working right now to, to refine the script. And, and we're, we're quite confident as of this point. But it's kind of like in a ship, you know, at sea, you see the beacon. And then you go under a wave. You don't see the beacon. You come up, you see the beacon. So <laughs> that's, what, that's what Ghostbusters 3 is. But I, I, I see the beacon today. Whether I'll see it tomorrow, I'm not sure. Here, here, the caviar. Indeed. And pickles. Life is good. Life is very good.